Ali Nimbar. Neto me mamuru kantelati. Ngaludang kumaring ng faculty o ng staff o ng student o anim flong ng nimbebe graduate labi. Mfama nimbar mal, bading o Ali Nimbar. Ng Amerika bi insalbe kontong ng mga kondo niya may paradamin di Gambia. Albe alam ko mambo jang de paradang Gambia le. May mga grandro funa na so ang babi kondo na ng mga kondo niya may paradamin. Alin nimbar. Until the first class year of Roman Brown High School, class of 2020. Welcome. My name is Mahmoud Conte. Honored guests, faculty, staff, students, my fellow graduates, family and friends. Welcome. I thought it most appropriate to greet you all in our native language from the motherland. We are the first class of Roman Brown High School, class of 2020. What an honor it is for me to participate in this joyful occasion. This day is about us and what we could and what we could achieve through hard work, determination, and moments of creative inspiration. But we could do nothing without those who have worked with us during these four years. Moreover, I want to welcome each and every one of you our parents, our teachers, supporters, family, and friends to this most wonderful milestone in our lives. Without you, that is not us. Thank you for being there today and always. We love you. Well, the moment is here. The moment that we have been waiting for for four years. The moment that we've been praying about. The moment we've been talking about and, and thinking about. The moment we've been preparing for and that we've sacrificed for. The moment we've hoped for and anticipated is finally here. And it's funny because even with all that praying, with all that anticipation, with all that hoping, all that sacrificing, all those conversations, this moment still seemed to catch us by surprise. <laughs> but it's interesting though, 2020, because with everything this year has been, it reminds me a lot of who you are. See, we prayed for y'all. We scheduled, we prepared, we read all the books, and we knew all the data. And even with all of that, you came <laughs> and managed to take us by surprise. But that really is what 2020 is, an expected surprise. And I know that everyone has been applauding you and telling you how, how, how happy they were and how good you have managed to cope and how you've been so resilient and how you've adapted well and persisted and, and persevered and all of that. And that's good, but I'm not here to do that. See, 
I realized that 2020 was never meant to be something you escaped, but something you embraced. I realized that 2020 is not about how you acted, but about who you are. And I submit to you on this day, this 18th day of June, that you are 2020. See, you, like 2020, are the interruption of norms. Your presence alone will shake up practices and procedures that have become routine. You will redefine what's accepted and expected from societies and cultures. You will alter what's anticipated and outdo the obvious. You, 2020, are the cause of reflection. Because of you, people must stop and think and sit with their thoughts and cogitate over their actions and mull over their emotions to come to a place of resolving their broken places. You, 2020, are the disruption of all things ordinary. You will break lines of the mundane and mediocre. You will question and agitate what's mainstream. You will find better ways to get things done. You will deconstruct the conventional and tear down the traditions that uphold the powers that be. You, 2020, you are the catalyst for change. See, you aren't just graduating in the midst of a global health crisis, no, no. See, it's, it's bigger than that. You gotta change your perspective, 2020, see? Because while COVID is real and COVID is present and COVID is true, what's also real and what's also present and what's also true is that you are graduating in the midst of the largest global protest that has hit our world in nearly half a century. Change your mind, 2020, you are not a pandemic, you are the revolution. Right now, you are being released into a world that is shifting, a world that's challenging and being challenged in the way black men are viewed and the way black lives are valued. Right now, as we speak, in this very moment, people are downtown across nations lifting their voices and their clenched fists for you, with you, and because of you. You are walking into a world that will know your name Know your name is much more than a hashtag on a shirt or on a billboard or some news ticker. You are the expected surprise, 2020. And this moment is so much bigger than we could have ever prepared for. It's for every young black boy and black girl whose hopes were hijacked, whose dreams were destroyed, and whose lives were lost. So this isn't just about you, Dre, or CJ, Ronald, Cam, it's not just about you, Ray. This is for every Trayvon and, and Ahmad, for every George, Brianna, Philandro, Sandra. This is for every Emmett and all the countless others who were silenced in silence. So go, go and take the world by storm, 2020. Be everything that we hope for and everything we didn't know we needed. 2020 isn't just your year, it's your destiny. I love you, congratulations. Young Kings that have been inducted into the National Honor Society, Marquise Brown Thomas, Mahmoud Kante, Christian Johnson, Colby Powell, and Justin Williams. Top 10 Young Kings, Justin Williams, Christian Moore, Mahmoud Conte, Christian Johnson, Devontae Henderson, Marquise Brown Thomas, DeAndre Walters, Hassan Bruner, Kobe Powell, Andre Browner. The English Department presents the Langston Hughes Lover of Literature Award. This honor is presented to an outstanding senior who has displayed an appreciation for literature and a passion for writing. It is an honor to present this award to Christian Moore. The Albert Frank Cox Math Excellence Award is presented to a student who has shown genuine interest in the subject and combined a natural ability with dedicated passion. He is a role model to his classmates. It is my pleasure to present this award to Michael Flowers. 
the History Department presents the Resilience in History Award to an outstanding senior who has been diligent and hardworking in history over all four years at Ron Brown. It is an honor to present this award to Marquise Brown Thomas. The Science Department presents the Dr. Ernest Everett Just Award for Perseverance to an outstanding senior who never lets a personal or academic challenge deter him from completing what he has started. He demonstrates a great love for science. It is an honor to present this award to Kobe Powell. Peace, family. It's a blessing to be able to be here with you all today in the deliverance of the inaugural I'm a Carl Cabral, Keeper of the Culture Award. This award is being delivered to a brother who has been present with us from the beginning, to a brother whose quiet resolution, whose connection to his community, and whose perseverance through obstacles is a testament to all the things that the culture of Ron Brown College Preparatory High School means to embody. This brother's connection to us has been a blessing his brother's ability to be accessible, his willingness to engage, and his intentionality about being plugged in will carry him very far and have made him dear to our hearts. This brother leads with a smile and this brother connects with intentionality. Omari Washington is receiving the Amakal Cabral Keeper of the Culture Award and he is a gift to us all. May we make sure to give this brother his flowers. The Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Citizenship Award is presented to a young king who has participated in school and community service activities and has shown true passion and dedication to helping others. There is always a display of positive attitude towards his classmates and staff members. He possesses strength of character while always encouraging his brothers to do what is right. This young king will continue his journey while attending Norfolk State University in the fall. It is my honor and pleasure to present the Dr. King Citizenship Award to Marquise Brown Thomas. The John Lewis Community Service Award. This award honors a young king who has contributed outstanding service to the community. The service provided by this student was voluntary, non-compensated activities that were done in his surrounding community. This young man has shown the importance of volunteerism by completing 233 hours of community service. This young king will go to the University of Maryland Eastern Shore and continue to make an impact in the world. It is an honor and a pleasure to present the Community Service Award to Kobe Powell. The Malcolm X Most Improved Award is presented to a young king who has demonstrated substantial improvement in their academic high school career. This student has shown motivation, initiative, integrity, and intellectual depth. His commitment to change has been extraordinary. There has been growth in his leadership qualities and he has done an exceptional job with leading his peers in and outside of the classroom. This young king will be attending Garrett College in the fall, where we know he will continue to do amazing things. It is with distinct pleasure that I present this award to Mr. Keon Williams. The Ernie Barnes Art Award recognizes and celebrates excellence in the production and creation of digital media. This young king has demonstrated a strong visual awareness and creativity while pursuing his visions through art. He has shown dedication and creativity, and he is an artist in the truest sense of the word. This young king will be taking his talents to Virginia Commonwealth University. I am pleased to present this award to Mr. DeMonte Henderson. The Exceptional English Language Learner Award celebrates a young king who has worked diligently to learn English because it was not his native language. This student has done an exemplary job demonstrating the use of the English language through reading, writing, listening, and speaking skills. This young king will continue his amazing journey at McDaniel College. 
It is an honor to present this award to Mr. Mahmoud Kante. The Jesse Owens Student Athlete Award recognizes a young king who demonstrates great athletic ability as well as represents Ron Brown and its core values on and off the field. This student has shown great sportsmanship and strong personal commitment to his goals that have made him stand out among his teammates. Next year, we are excited to watch him develop as he takes his talents to Bowie State University. It is an honor to present this award to Khalil Mathis. The Ron Brown Leadership Award is presented to a young king who best exemplifies strong leadership qualities. This award recognizes a student as being especially dedicated to both academic and extracurricular activities. This student has made an outstanding contribution to Ron Brown and his community. He was an inaugural student and has served in many different capacities. We expect nothing but a bright future for this young king as he takes his talents to Howard University next year. It is an honor and a pleasure to present the Leadership Award to Mr. Christian Johnson. The Principal Achievement Award will be presented to the young king who has shown tremendous growth, demonstrated unusual commitment to his academics, and has grown tremendously in all aspects of his life. This student will have done an outstanding job of demonstrating strong values that a leader in this building should possess. He will show perseverance and will understand the importance of the opportunity of being a young king at Ron Brown College Preparatory High School. The inaugural winner of the Principal Achievement Award this year will be going to Norfolk State University, and this young man has shown a significant amount of growth from 2016 to today. It is my pleasure, and I am extremely proud of this young man, to present Sean Harrington with the Principal Achievement Award for school year 2019-2020. Congratulations, Sean. The honor of salutatorian is given to the student who ranks second highest in the school behind the valedictorian. The young king who gets to wear this prestigious crown is Christian Moore. He is a student that has shown what it means to be academically strong and accomplished in many areas. He is a student athlete who was a member of the cross country track and field team. He also made an impact in the community by being an Urban Alliance intern for two years. He demonstrated leadership throughout the building and held the position of editor for our yearbook. He is an astounding artist who's graced us all with his creations. Christian is a student who exemplifies excellence and we are proud that he is our salutatorian for the inaugural class. Christian will be attending Bowie State University in the fall and we are exhilarated to see where his bright future will lead him. Valedictorian is the highest honor that one can receive. Receiving this title means that this young king excelled to a level of achievement that is elite. The title of valedictorian is awarded to the student who graduates with the highest cumulative GPA. The young king that will receive this honor is Justin Williams. Justin is a student that has demonstrated diligence, commitment, and untiring dedication to achieve this goal. He is a leader that has shown the importance of continuous commitment to, the, to excellence in terms of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. Justin is a student that has demonstrated the importance of perseverance, which makes this accomplishment one that deserves the highest celebrations. He is a scholar that is an athlete who has received recognition as a football player, as well as serving on the basketball team. He is a member of the National Honor Society, Justin is destined for great things. We are proud of our valedictorian for the inaugural class. He is a young king that will be a great contributor to our society. We are proud of his decision to attend Norfolk State University in the fall. I'm a young black man Doing all that I can 
to stand. Oh, but when I look around and I see what's being done to my kind every day, I'm being hurt to this prey. My people don't want no trouble. We've had enough strong goal. I just want to live. God protect me. I just want to live. I just want to live. Hello graduates and families. On behalf of our entire community, I want to congratulate the class of 2020. I know this is not the graduation or senior year you expected, but do not let that take away from how proud you should feel in this moment. That goes to for parents and grandparents, aunts and uncles, teachers and coaches, and everyone else watching who helped to make today possible. Class of 2020, you're graduating high school at a time when your voices are needed more than ever. Our nation is hungry for change. The pandemic set the stage for creating a new normal. And the recent protests and demands for justice have made clear just how necessary a new normal is. As cities across the country, including our own, begin to reopen, people don't want to go back to how things used to be. People want a world that is better than before more equal and more just than before. Starting right now, you have a once in a generation opportunity to rebuild and reimagine our societies. You are ready for this moment. Your generation grew up in a world that is constantly changing, so you are undaunted by the unknown. And not just undaunted, but excited. You are ready to root out injustice in all its forms, ready to achieve statehood for Washington, D.C. Class of 2020, you are ready to shake things up and build the more inclusive America we know is possible. So congratulations, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay ready to make a change. It's that little Chico Pitbull, Mr. 305, but it said Mr. Worldwide, and I'm checking in to speak to the graduating class of 2020. Felicidades en su graduación, la clase de 2020. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Congratulations, Washington, D.C. class of 2020. I want to, first of all, congratulate each and every one of you for obtaining such a monumental event in your lives. I want to personally congratulate you on this great milestone you have achieved in your academic career. Congratulations, class of 2020. Enjoy your day. Dance like you've never danced before. Make the most of this quarantine because tomorrow the real work starts. Tomorrow the work of being a change agent and changing the world starts. I just wanted to say how incredibly proud I am of every single one of you. This was not an easy year and you continued and you pushed through. You are the first and the freshest of graduates who will face down this pandemic and its aftermath. So pivot. Bring your ideas, energy, and urgency to bear upon this situation. Be leaders in helping us to address it and all the other challenges we face in the world. We need your energy. We need your creativity. We need your courage and boldness. We need you to be willing to step out and to change the world because the world is in dire need of change. Ustedes son parte de una clase muy, muy especial. Esto viene siendo en 2020 la clase más histórico de todo el mundo. If you get on campus, I want you to be a leader, okay? There's gonna be a lot of people in your way. I want you to keep a tight net bomb with family and friends back home, and I want you to take it every day at a time, all right? Go into your lives, go into your futures, Stay focused, stay humble, stay loving. I want y'all to continue to strive to be the best that you can be. I know this is some crazy times right now, but you got through it. You got through it. I want to see you all become the next millionaires, the next billionaires, the next business owners, 
So hold it down for the District of Columbia. Keep moving forward, never give up, and always think about what you overcame. So I can't wait to see what the class of 2020 comes up with. We are watching, we are proud of you, we are so excited for you, and just go out there and kill it. I know from witnessing the art you've created, the service projects you've already pioneered, and the level of civic engagement you've already demonstrated that you as a class and as a generation coming to adulthood are gonna be able to surmount the challenges that come your way. The DC public school system is very, very special. You are a very special class, and I just wanna wish you the best for your journey into the future. Keep pursuing everything that you want. Make sure you guys reach for the stars and make sure you guys understand that you guys are DC public school graduates. Yes, go DC public schools, DC public schools. <laughs> Let's go. God bless you, congratulations, and stun on them. Stun on them, stun on them. You're out, you made it. Congratulations, DCPS class of 2020 on your graduation. Wishing y'all the best for the future and hope y'all stay safe out there. Congratulations again to the class of 2020. You've gone through something special and that makes you guys very special. So as you go forward from this moment, love more, dream bigger, be stronger, and never, ever, ever give up. Greetings to the class of 2020 graduates, families, and our entire DC Public Schools community. It has been my pleasure to be a part of our students' journeys as they look to become business leaders, digital designers, medical professionals, and yes, school teachers. And while I only got to know our graduating class most recently as chancellor, I recognize the unique experiences of being a DCPS graduate that it brings into the world. This class of 2020, after all, I urge you to take this time to reflect on what it means to grow up in our nation's capital, to embrace the bonds of our community and to enter each day being your true self. To the class of 2020, you were born in the early days of a new millennium. Let that sink in for a minute. You are one in a thousand. For each generation of DCPS graduates growing up in Washington, DC, it gives you a front row seat to the daily headlines and trending topics. You have heard these stories from your grandparents, your teachers, your neighbors, but now it's time to tell your story as the class of 2020. You will be able to say things like, I recited poetry from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. I helped make the Anacostia River cleaner for people and animals. I danced the go-go at homecoming all night long. I attended a mock trial at the United States Supreme Court. I started my school's first vegetable garden with First Lady Michelle Obama. I ate a half smoke from the famous Ben's Chili Bowl. I raised awareness of gun violence, climate change, and immigrant rights and social justice. I shook hands with President Barack Obama and I marched peacefully in my city to protest against police brutality and walk down Black Lives Matter Plaza. Your story is about our hallways and our sidewalks in your school. It's about cheering so loud at the turkey bowl that your voice goes hoarse. It's about the inside jokes between you and your closest friends. It's about balancing school, job, family, all the commitments that you have, but yet and still, still maintaining good grades and still remembering those that are no longer with us. You did what many cannot do, and while this year did not turn out as we predicted, one thing we know for certain is you work hard and it will not go unnoticed. We're not celebrating you in person today, but we are still celebrating you. DC Public Schools is proud of our graduates, and we know you will go on to accomplish things that we cannot even think of in this moment. 
It is why the class of 2020 will be the very first DCPS Persist class as a new program is being launched to provide graduates with special resources that will be available to them as they begin the next chapter. We want every DCPS student who goes on to college to have the support and the guidance they need to succeed as they earn their degree and pursue their path of a fulfilling career. You are entering the world as a DCPS alumni, and we hope that your success has become a source of inspiration for future graduates. I cannot wait to hear what you have to say, to see what you are doing, and experience what you are creating. To the class of 2020, I salute you on behalf of the entire DCPS school community. We all say, congratulations, class of 2020. Greetings. I am Justin Williams, and it is my pleasure to greet you as the valedictorian of the first class, Ron Brown College Preparatory High School, class of 2020. I want to congratulate every single one of my brothers for making it to this day and defying all stereotypes. Also, I want to pay respects to Eric. Eric was an individual whose energy was unmatched. His impact on every senior he came in contact with was incredible. He motivated us to be our best selves and to not make excuses when striving for success. The conversations and energy he had in this space will forever live on. His legacy will forever be a part of our lives. Oprah Winfrey once said, surround yourself with people who only are going to lift you higher. Over the course of these four years, we have been surrounded by parents, teachers, friends, and enemies who are strategically placed in our lives to push us to this moment. Thank you all for the conversations, challenges, and conflicts that helped us to become better versions of ourselves. As we embark on our paths of military, work, and college life, it is vital that we take time to reflect on what these last four years have meant to us. I didn't embark on this journey and graduate high school for me. Living in a single parent household with a disabled father taught me to grow up fast. I was taught that sometimes the reason you wake up every day and go to school or go to work and fail time and time again isn't for you, but for others. For me, there was a larger purpose. For me, I value working every day to make my father proud. I value my brothers and the relationships and seeing people that look like me into society educated and able to make a change and tell their story. This wasn't for me. The effort I put in every day to be in the position to talk to you all was to send a message and to change the narrative that a class of educated African American males from D.C. can defy all odds and have an impact on society not built for us to succeed. RBHS has taught me a lot of lessons, but the most important lesson is that we are human. Mistakes are okay. Failure is okay. Being wrong is okay. Being an individual who may struggle or have things going on is normalized and won't be used against you. However, it is essential that we, especially as black men and as people, don't use our issues and our personal lives as crutches for being basic. It is important to not use everyday struggles in this society as reasons to not achieve success. No supervisor or teacher or neighborhood can become a substitute for the daily effort required to make a lasting change, and I thank my senior class for doing whatever it took in order to make it here today. It was here that the words of Rudyard Kipling's great poem, If, were made true for me. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you, you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too, if you can wait and not be tired by their waiting, and yet don't look too good nor too wise. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you. If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you, but make allowance for their doubting too. If you can wait and not be tired of waiting, or being lied about, don't dinner lies. Or being hated, don't give away to hating, and yet don't look too good nor too wise. If you can dream and not make dreams your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim, if you can meet with triumph and disaster and treat these two imposters just the same, if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken, twisted by knaves to make a trap for fools, or watch the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build up with worn tools, if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it all in one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never breathe a word about your loss, if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone, and so hold on when there is nothing in you except the will which says to them, 
hold on. If you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue, or walk with kings, nor lose the common touch. If neither foes nor loving friends can hurt you, if all men count with you, but none too much, you can feel the unforgiving minute for 60 seconds worth of distance run, yours is the earth and everything that's in it, and which is more, you'll be a man, my son. Once again, congratulations, my brothers. We made it. Carl A. Racine is the District of Columbia's first elected independent attorney general. Now in his second term, Attorney General Racine's mission is to use the law to solve problems for vulnerable district residents. His priorities include consumer protection, preserving affordable housing, employing evidence-based juvenile justice reforms, cracking down on slumlords, holding unscrupulous employers accountable for wage theft. He is committed to smart on crime policies to interrupt violence in the district and address childhood trauma. Attorney General Racine also serves as president-elect of the Bipartisan National Association of Attorney Generals and as chair emeritus of the Democratic Attorneys General Association. Before his election, Mr. Racine was the first African-American managing partner of top 100 U.S. law firm Venable LLP, worked at the D.C. Public Defender Service and served as Associate White House Counsel in the Clinton Administration. Mr. Racine earned a BA from the University of Pennsylvania and JD from the University of Virginia. Born in Haiti, he has lived in the district since he was three. Graduates, it's my distinct honor to address you on this historic day as you receive your well-earned diplomas. You are the realization of a bold idea a school designed specifically for young men of color could groom kings. Not only have you met this high standard, you have surpassed it with your hard work, your tenacity, and your support for each other. You familiarized yourself with brilliance, learning about icons like my favorite author, James Baldwin, and meeting many others, including President Barack Obama, and Congressman John Lewis. All of you have become a brotherhood of true scholars committed to giving back to your community. And let's recognize our community needs you, and it needs you to help guide it and lead it into the future. Your family members, teachers, coaches, counselors, and administrators were always there for you. Please take a moment to thank them for their incredible support and their belief in you. As you know, this class shares something in common with your school's namesake. You are both first. Ron Brown was the first Black American to serve as Secretary of Commerce and Chairman of the Democratic National Committee. You were the first freshmen, the first sophomores, the first juniors, and now the first senior class to graduate from the Ron Brown College Preparatory High School. Take pride in that. This is part of your legacy. But remember, it's only your beginning. Legacy, as you'll learn, is cemented through what you do after you became the first. The standards that you set were those who come behind you. And most importantly, the assistance, guidance, and mentoring that you grant to people who need your help. I know just a little bit about this. It was my honor to be the first African-American managing partner of a large law firm in the United States. And I can tell you, it was lonely at the top. And I suspect for you that your days may sometimes be lonely. I found in those moments when I even doubted whether I belonged, that reaching out to a former teacher or a friend or a coach or a guide always put me back in the right frame of mind, a frame of mind that would lead me to have the confidence that I needed to go on to the next level. I was also the first elected attorney general in the District of Columbia. 
This allowed me an incredible honor and privilege to use my training as a lawyer to help people in our community who need it the most. As a two-time first myself, I have some advice for you on how you can continue to build legacy and a legacy that you and your family will be proud of. First, never forget that your personal narrative demands excellence. And we know from Ron Brown Prep Academy what it takes to be excellent. That means a lot of hard work, a lot of confidence, and not of being afraid to ask for help when we need it. You are called young kings because you descend from the great kingdoms of Africa. Your teachers and administrators expected excellence of you. Now you must insist on that for yourself. Second, don't hesitate to lead on the moral challenges of the day. And boy, we know our country and our world is facing a number of moral challenges. Who better than you, Ron Brown Prep graduates, than to lead us into a future where there is no more police brutality, into a future where there is more affordable housing, into a future where our young friends don't have to live in communities of violence. Third, as you lead, lead with love. Our country is plagued by an original sin of bigotry and hate. It usually turns itself into racism. And if you ever feel the urge to respond to hate in its own way, I urge you to resist that and instead follow the example set by Ron Brown. Smother it in love. In the words of another king, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Finally, I urge you to lift up others behind you. Be there for your community. Volunteer. Because as a first, your job is to ensure that you're not the last. And you will not be the last if you guide, mentor, teach people younger than you of all the potential that they have, the potential that you know that you've achieved in being the first graduates from the Ron Brown College Preparatory High School. Congratulations and good luck. Class of 2020, congratulations. You finally made it. Your long journey is over. My message to you is dare to be different. Go against the grain. When everyone goes right, you go left. Set your own footsteps. Be a trendsetter. We wish you the best of luck and all the best. Greetings, young kings. I'd like to say congratulations to the class of 2020 Ron Brown College Preparatory High School. Congratulations. Soar to your highest level. Thank you for letting me be a part of your life. Congratulations to the inaugural class of Ronald H. Brown College Preparatory High School. It has been a pleasure serving as your school counselor for these four years. You guys have worked hard and achieved greatness. Remember that we're always here, we're always family, and we're all in. Congratulations, class of 2020. Words cannot explain how extremely proud I am of you. You've shown nothing but grit and perseverance over the past four years. Continue to be young men of high character, academically curious, and more than ever, make sure you're an advocate and an ally for change. Continue to be your best selves in your post-secondary careers, and remember that Ron Brown is family. Please make sure you come back and help those behind you. We look forward to seeing you again. Congratulations. Congratulations to the first class of Ron Brown High School, the class of 2020. It's been a pleasure learning with you for the last four years. Always remember to be a lifelong learner. Every time you learn something new, a new door, a new opportunity opens up right in front of you. Thank you for the best four years in my career in education. Take the best of care. To the class of 2020 of Ron Brown College Preparatory High School, one chapter has closed. The other one has opened. Now it's time to write another chapter to your story. I'm proud of you, young kings. 
represent because you're still all that. That and all. Class of 2020, congratulations, you made it. I know this is not the ending that we hoped for or wished for, but it is our ending that we have. And in the words of a famous 90s artist, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. I am looking forward to hearing and seeing all of the great things you're going to do in the future. Be safe and congratulations. Boldine out. My sons, they say that time flies when you're having fun. And when I think about it, from freshman nights in Atlanta, to spirit week with Bowie State cheerleaders, to every cruise, to conversations in the care suite, to road trips from Mississippi, time has certainly passed us by pretty swiftly. I am so honored, so honored to have been a part of this piece of your story and to watch you become who you are today. I'll forever cherish all of the yesterdays behind us and will be cheering you on for all of the tomorrows ahead. I love you, and I love you most. Remember that. Oh, and don't forget, Phi Beta Sigma probably has a, 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 a chapter on your campus, so, you know, do that. See y'all. Class of 2020, I'm going to leave you with these words that inspired me by Muhammad Ali. Impossible is just a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in a world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact. Impossible is an opinion. Impossible is potential. Use your potential to change the world. Do the impossible. Love you. Peace, Mr. Green. Congratulations, Class of 2020, Ron Brown, Young Kings. I know it didn't work out how you want it to work out. You know, a lot of things happen. We're in difficult times, but one thing you got to realize is that you made history. You're the first class to ever graduate from Ron Brown. This is something nobody can ever take from you. So adjust your crowns, hold your head up high, and go out and change the world. Congratulations. Young Kings, to all my young kings, students, student athletes, uh, this is Mr. Martin, A.D. Martin, uh, checking in with you guys. I'm signing off for the class of 2020. Farewell to you guys. It's been an honor, a duty, a privilege uh, to be vested with you guys these last three years, the journey that you guys uh, have endured, have went through. Um, it's kind of where we got to end off on these terms without being able to touch and interact and hug on each other. But uh, I love you guys. Much love and success to you all in the future. And if you need me, you know I have an open door policy. But y'all remember what? Make sure you're not. Take care, y'all. Ron Brown, class of 2020, the original Young Kings. Congratulations, y'all. Congratulations. I wish you the best um, from your librarian, friend. In some cases, some of y'all call me uncle, bro, whatever. Congratulations, y'all. I truly and honestly wish for the best for each and every one of you. Feel free to hit me up. You all know how to reach me. If not, ask somebody. I'll always be there as your big bro. And thank you. Thank you for allowing me to be your librarian for my first K through 12 experience. It was a memorable one. I love you all. Take care, be safe, and each one teach one. Respect, peace. Mr. Parks here, saying congratulations to the Ron Brown College Preparatory High School class of 2020. You are our legacy. Go, be, never forget. Congratulations. Class of 2020, you've made it. I'm so very proud of you and looking forward to you doing great things in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. Although this is an unprecedented time and actually a very awkward way to celebrate this milestone, it's still just that, a milestone. You have spent the last 12 years developing your bodies, your minds, and character to get to this point. It would be remiss not to acknowledge these historical times, COVID pandemic, riots, unemployment, even a military takeover of Washington, D.C. As you make your next move, your best move, I want you to take a moment and consider all these events happening around us and how you can make this a better place for all of us. Good luck, and I'll see you soon. Congratulations, Mr. Prather. Thank you. Class of 2020, what up, though? Young kings, young men, you did it. 
In 2016, we said this time would go by fairly quickly, and it did. We're here, and congratulations. Cherish this moment. I wish you the most success as you venture out into college or your different careers. Make the most of it. Remember everything that you learned at Ron Brown, and I hope to see you one day soon. Until we meet again, peace, Young Kings. 2020 grads, congratulations. I've loved spending this year teaching most of you statistics and learning about you and all of your plans for the future. If there's one thing I want you to take away from your time at Ron Brown, it's this. You have a voice for a reason. Go out and use it. Wherever you end up, make your voice heard. Hello, Ron Brown, class of 2020 first class. Congratulations on graduation. If you guys didn't know already, you are the first class that I ever taught. I wanted to take a second to thank you for shaping me into the educator I am today. You guys are all gonna hold a special place in my heart and I know you're gonna go on to do amazing things. Congratulations, class of 2020. We finally made it. I knew y'all guys were gonna push through and do it. So I'm looking forward to y'all doing some big things. This is your year, 2020. Go out and vote, make it count. This is y'all, we did it, congratulations! Congratulations, seniors. Class of 2020, first class. Y'all are bright and shining lights. I cannot wait to see how you set the world on fire. I know that every last one of you is gonna do amazing things. I am so proud of you and I love you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. I am so very proud of you. We call you Young Kings because you have the ability to make change and to be leaders in this world. And I expect nothing but greatness. Each one of you has a bright and shining light. Don't ever let anyone dim it. Go out, make great strides to do the best that you can. And I expect nothing but greatness. Congratulations again. I love each and every one of you. First of all, two claps and some love on two for you. Congratulations. You were some of the first people to welcome me into Ron Brown and the very reason I decided to come back each and every year. I love and appreciate you. Thank you for letting me enjoy this crazy ride with you for your high school experience. I can't wait for the world to witness your grace and your greatness. That said, congratulations. Please remember to come back home and remember this attendance is half the battle. The graduating class of 2020, I say congratulations on your academic achievements. You should be proud of what you have accomplished. This is the beginning of your journey. So be open to all that life has to offer you. And remember to come back and mentor to young kings because they need to see what a Ron Brown education can do for them. And remember, you are always part of the Ron Brown community. We are always here for you. Hi, this is Ms. Poteet, and I'm here to congratulate the class of 2020, our first class at Ron Brown. Proud of everyone that's been working hard. Congrats, 2020. We made it. Congratulations, 2020, you made it. Uh, hopefully, enjoy your next steps of your life. Hey, this is Ms. Dayton, and I wanted to make sure that I sent a huge congratulations out to our first graduating class, class of 2020. Ron Brown, my young kings, you did it. You made it. We are so, so proud of you. Um, we know that this journey was not an easy one, but the fact that you guys pushed through and crossed that finish line is just more proof that our young black kings can do anything that they put their minds to. And don't you ever forget it. Hey, turn up class of 2020. Love you. What's up class of 2020? It's Miss Williams. This is such an exciting time. You're graduating. I am so proud of the men that you have become and it has been such a privilege to watch you grow over this year. I know that you all are going to do tremendous things in the future and I hope you know that you'll always have the support of your RBHS family right behind you. We love you so much and we know you're going to continue to make us proud. Love ya. Class of 2020 Young Kings. Your day is finally here. It's been an interesting, long four years with you guys, but you've done it. You've made history. And while you may have come to the end of this journey, remember that Ron Brown is always your home and Auntie Odom is always here for you. I love you guys. Congratulations. Wow, young black men, what a journey. Your journey's just beginning. Lock in. Remember, work for everything you want. Earn everything you get. And always remember, be a man of your word. 
Class of 2020, I love you guys. The Inspirational Educator Award is an award that highlights a teacher who has done a phenomenal job with educating our young kings. This award provides acknowledgement for years of hard work and sacrifice. This recipient goes above and beyond the regular duties of a teacher to truly make an impact on Ron Brown, the district, and our community. It is with distinct pleasure that I present this award to Mr. Travis Boding. Yo, what's up, class of 2020? Hey, listen, I brought some of my friends along to help me get this message to you. In life, you're going to have challenges, but I want you to know that everything that you need to conquer those challenges is already within you. You will know every dream you yeah, have. I promise you, yeah. you will. Stick to the plan. You'll know it. Come on, fellas. When I was a young boy, I had visions of fame. They were wild and they were free. And they were blessed by my name. But when I grew older, and I saw what to see, the world is full of pain. And the dreams they left me. Yeah. But then I got stronger. And that's my heart, y'all, to call by my place. And right now, you could ask me, and it all seems in vain. Your dreams, your dreams, and you need to stick by your place. 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 Stick by your place.
Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field frozen with snow. Greetings to Mayor Bowser, council members of DC, Chancellor Farabee, DCPS's senior leadership, RBHS's stakeholders, RBHS parents, guardians, families, RBHS's staff members, and last but not least, the men of Ron Brown's class of 2020. No worries, men, this speech will not be any longer than a few minutes. You all have given me a lifetime of memories. You've also given me a lifetime of lessons, and I think we all know that I could speak on these experiences for hours. As I stated earlier, words cannot explain how genuinely proud I am of this group. I vividly remember welcoming you on that sweltering Monday in August of 2016. Many of you arrived nervous and unsure of the journey that laid ahead. Some of you chose RBHS, but many of your families and your parents chose RBHS for you. I remember how many blazers and ties we went through in those first nine weeks because of your resistance to the uniform policy. But eventually, you earned that blazer and tie, you owned that blazer and tie, you developed a brotherhood, and you began to own the culture of Ron Brown College Preparatory High School. All of you, each and every one of you, have displayed a level of grit and perseverance throughout these four years. You did not allow your lived experiences or a pandemic to derail you from the path towards graduation. You stayed the course and your persistence has helped you achieve your goal. You truly have become men of high character who are academically curious and who are more than ready to be agents of change in this world. I am proud to say that you are the anti-stereotype. I am proud to say that you have defied not only the odds, but the expectations for young men and men of color. You all deserve to be sitting where you are today. And more than anything, each and every one of you matter. Again, I am very proud of this first class. I look forward to seeing the impact that you have on this world. Take the lessons you've learned to continue to better yourself, to better each other, and to better the ones who are coming after you. You are RBH's standard bearers. All after you are trying to live up to your legacy. Congratulations again, young men. Excuse me, congratulations, men. And best of luck in your post-secondary careers. And now, by the power vested in me, by the mayor of the District of Columbia, Mayor Bowser, and by the chancellor of the District of Columbia Public Schools, Louis Faraby, I hereby certify that this class of 2020 have completed the requirements for graduation from Ron Brown College Preparatory High School. I now hereby certify that the members of the class of 2020 have completed the requirements for graduation from the District of Columbia Public Schools. On behalf of Mayor Bowser, I enthusiastically accept the DCPS class of 2020. Let's give a big round of applause to our graduates. Now presenting the first graduating class of Ron Brown. Raynard Alexander, Elijah Ashley, Antoine Austin, Malik Austin, Charles Blakeney Jr., Marquise Brown Thomas, Andre Browner, Hassan Bruner, Terion Burton, Najma Cash, Kyrie Chambers, Cameron Coleman, Kevin Conti. Mamut 
Conte. Jaden Crossan. Stefan Curtis. Lance Earl Jr. Elijah Ferrier. Jaden Fisher. Michael Flowers. Ronald Fussell Jr. Amari Genus. Paul Gray. Rayshawn Harrington. Demonte Henderson. Malik Hunter. Christian Johnson. Messiah Joyner. Josiah Lynch. Amir Manier. Khalil Mathis. Reginald Miller Jr. Cameron Mitchell. Christian Moore. Jalen Moore. David Payton. Colby Powell. Chase Rice. Omari Richards. Giovanni Rosario. Dewan Cisse. Khalil Simpson. DeAndre Walters. Omari Washington. Theatric White Jr. Justin Williams. Keon Williams. Michael Williams. Congratulations, class of 2020. If you really want to reach the students, you really have to know them. Not just who they are um, during school hours, but who, who they are. The foundation of our culture is love. Real training, real love, real skill, and real empathy. These are the people that will have to go out and debunk the myths and change the narrative. We're looking at them from a place of of godliness, of kingliness, of royalty, like in their birthright, like they deserve to be expected to be great. This is who we are. This is, this is why we are here. It may not have the, the impact that people seek immediately, but in the long run, these young men are better for it. For me, my hope is people understand it is serious. It is life or death, but we ready. There's a place where love so oh. 